Life Cycle of a Star Birth of a Star Stars are formed from a cloud of dust and mainly hydrogen gas. This cloud of dust and gases from which stars are formed is called the nebula. The hydrogen gas present in the galaxies get accumulated into small dense clouds. These clouds that were initially at a very low temperature started condensing under their own gravity and formed the protostar. The protostar, which is a dense mass, further contracted under its own gravity. As a result of contraction, the atoms of the hydrogen present in the protostar collided with one another and the temperature increased further. At this high temperature, the hydrogen nuclei fused to form helium nucleus, giving out energy in the form of heat and light. This marked the birth of a star. The energy released during the fusion reaction created an internal pressure which was equal and opposite to the gravitational force. A star has an inner core and an outer shell. The flow chart given here shows the life of a medium star and a massive star. The star continues to release energy till all the hydrogen inside the core gets exhausted. Once the hydrogen inside the core gets exhausted, the fusion reaction stops and the core begins to shrink under the influence of the force of gravity. However, hydrogen gas present inside the outer shell continues to fuse into helium and liberate energy. Therefore, the outer shell of the star begins to expand. As a result, its surface area increases and the intensity of radiated energy decreases. At this stage, the color of the star changes to red and the star is said to be in the red giant phase. Once the star reaches the red giant phase, then its future depends on its initial mass. There are two possible alternatives, namely white dwarf and supernova explosion. A star whose mass is equal or less than that of the sun will end up its life as a white dwarf, whereas a massive star will end up as an exploding star called supernova. The red giant slowly loses its outer expanding shell and the core left behind gradually condenses into an extremely dense ball of matter called white dwarf. In the case of a massive star, the core contracts and due to the energy released, the shell explodes and this explosion is known as supernova explosion. The core left behind after the supernova explosion contracts to form neutron star and if the neutron star is massive, it further contracts to form an extremely dense lump called the black hole. Thus, like all other things in the universe, a star is born, lives for some time and then dies.